Hello everyone, here's a riddle for you. This character is the iconic and popular, but also the most mysterious supervillain in comic book history. I think only one name comes to mind after hearing that description. The Joker, of course, but who is he? A crazed homicidal maniac or a true criminal genius? Or maybe both. Where did he come from and why does he look like that? Patience, my friends. Now we'll figure it all out. Let's go. The Joker appeared in the very first issue of Batman Comics back in 1940. Remarkably, in the original script he was killed, but editor Whitney Ellsworth saved him. He added one panel at the end of the comic, showing that the Joker had survived. What a fortunate decision. This supervillain could have disappeared from the comic book world immediately after his debut, and there is no telling how Batman would have changed without his nemesis. There is no telling how the entire comic book industry would have evolved without such an iconic character. The biggest mystery, which has been puzzling fans for over 80 years, is how the Joker came to be. Because the villain himself doesn't remember it at all. In one comic, he says that sometimes he remembers one story, then another, and that if the past is so important, then he prefers to have different options. So, there are all sorts of versions and theories about his origins. However, fans have a favorite. It's Alan Moore's version, which he showed in the graphic novel The Killing Joke. It tells the story of a loser comedian who goes on a crime spree as a member of the Red Hood gang to earn money to support his pregnant wife. However, while trying to escape from Batman, he falls into a vat of chemicals. He survives but sustains serious injuries. This incident and the subsequent death of his wife drive him insane, turning him into the Joker. His green hair, red lips, and pale skin are a result of this fall, and an unusual illness that causes facial muscle spasms and a permanent smile make him even scarier. The Joker's main weapon has always been a special gas that makes everyone laugh uncontrollably, so much so that it can even lead to death. But that's not the only trick he knows. The Joker is a true genius of the criminal world. He comes up with the most cunning plans to keep Batman from getting rid of him. In addition, he is a brilliant leader. Of course, you could say that the gang members are just afraid of him, but it works. So, he's definitely up to the role of king of the criminal world. And frankly, I don't remember anyone from his gang suddenly deciding to betray him. Friends, tell us in the comments if you remember someone betraying the Joker. We'd be happy to know. Another interesting fact about the Joker is that in 2015, Robert Moses Peasley and Robert G. Weiner published a book called The Joker, a serious study of the clown prince of crime. So, the Joker became the first fictional supervillain in history to have a scientific work written about him. I think everyone is interested to know more about the Joker's closest accomplice. We are talking about Harley Quinn whose real name is Harleen Quinzel. She first appeared in 1992 in the Batman animated series, mm -hmm. but her journey in the comics didn't start until a year later. As the Joker's attending psychiatrist during his time in Arkham, Dr. Quinzel fell in love with the villain and helped him escape. Her crush on the Joker drove her crazy, and she became the villainous Harley Quinn. It's worth noting that over the decades, the Joker has been played by many brilliant actors. But according to most fans, and we agree with them, Heath Ledger did it best in the 2008 movie The Dark Knight. Sadly, it was his last role. On January 22, 2008, he was found dead in his apartment. The official version is that his death was caused by an overdose of sleeping pills and antidepressants. It is still unknown whether it was suicide or an accident. However, during the filming of the movie, the actor admitted that the Joker was a very difficult role and he constantly felt exhausted, so he may have been the real victim of a fictional villain. Friends, even if you are not a fan of Batman, you should watch this movie at least to see how Heath Ledger became a truly brilliant and crazy supervillain on the screen. By the way, after the film was released, the actor won a posthumous Oscar for this role. As you see, we could talk about the Joker's personality for hours. Is he a successful madman or a tactical genius who thinks his moves ahead? Every fan has their own feelings and opinions. But there is one thing we know for sure, this supervillain makes everyone feel something, and we will be happy to see him again on the screen and enjoy the story of one of the most famous and mysterious supervillains in the history of comics. Friends, tell us in the comments, what do you think of the Joker? 
Is he a genius or a madman? What other villains would you like to hear about? The best comments will be featured in the next episode. And give us a like if you enjoyed today's video. See you soon with more Super Tony content. Bye-bye!